Now, I'm going to be putting it into three parts, okay, this choreography. We'll be breaking each one, but I'm going to start first with a little bit difficult. We're going to do a double turn. I get asked all the time, how do I do a double turn and how do I stop? These are the two things, right? How do I put power to do a double turn and how do I stop and without losing balance? There are three things involved. There's the feet, the upper body with the shoulders and the hands. Let's show them. This is the only thing that I will over explain. If you like, you can watch it after I finish. The video will, will be saved. Okay, guys, let's get started. Now, I put my camera, hopefully that you can see everything here, and I'll be doing it from different angles. Now, if you can't hear me, leave some comments and I can try to adjust a little bit louder my voice. All right? So first things first, from your basic, you're gonna lift up your right foot and cross to the ball of your foot here. If you see it from behind, there's one, two, seven, four. We're going to break the beat a little bit. Not one, two, three, we want to have five, six, seven to turn. So we're going to do one, two, and three. And then all of you put strong on the ground. Now, here comes the first out of three things to do a good spin and stop good. Number one, your right foot that's hooking has to be next to your other foot. Because when you turn, you will be side to side your feet when you hook. Now, if you have it more back. When you turn your feet, one will be in front of the other, and that's a no-no. So if you have it too much to the front, you'll turn and then you have your right foot back and the other way around. So make sure it's always in the same spot, next to the heel of the other foot or the in-between. So when you turn, you end up straight. Let me do it this way. I actually can do it here. And I turn, and you see the feet are next to each other. Now, the second thing the feet do is that you bring your right foot into your left foot and you keep that touching softly on the floor. Then on the ball of the left foot, as you're closing, that will give you a second push when you close fast to execute the second turn. Now, how do we stop? Now, I can stop with a little pressure because I've been practicing, but the best way is when you're about to finish the turn, push the legs out using your side muscles. Now, this was a very open one, but whoo, see, pushing it up in slow motion, turning, pushing it out. I told you I'm going to take some time about the turns because this is a question that everybody tells me. The ladies are getting some help from the guys. Hello, nice to see you as well. <laughs> okay, now, but the guys don't get any help. They have to learn by themselves. The ladies can get very much lighter by learning this technique. Now, number one was the feet. Remember, the video will be saved. You can watch it again. Then number two is the upper body. At the same time, you cross your feet. You turn your upper body to the right. One eighth to the right, not a full quarter. That's and then you stretch your left abdominal muscle. Then you push, so you rotate. And all this push will allow to turn. That's like 70% of your turn right there. So. 70% of the upper body. And three and the last thing for turn, at the same time you prepare, you bring your hands at the same side, on the right side. Now, I'm gonna say this a couple of times only, not too much, but it's very important. The hands will push open the left, you will close them to produce the second turn, and then you will open them at the same time you open up the feet. I try to do it in slow motion, and we hook and we prepare. We push with the hand, right in the face. This time we close the feet and the hand together. And when we're about to stop, we open up the arms so we get a balance. So it's here, out, close, open. And we're nice and steady and not like that. So that's my most detailed explanation in speed, fast forward for the turns, because it has to be explained slower so you can practice it. But I have a lot of work to show you today, guys. And it's morning time, and I can see people coming in all the time. I'm very happy about that. And I know more people will see this, and I'll share it with everyone. Good morning. Let's start dancing. All right, basic first. One, two, three, five, six, three, go. 
One, two, and three. And your first five open, close, and open. Okay? Now, if some of you cannot do the double yet, of course, it doesn't come overnight or with just the explanations. You have to do them yourself. You can just do a single turn so you can do the lesson with us. Afterwards, we're going to do a little bit of Afro Rumba fusion style. What I do there is I move forward with the left and I bend down from the upper body here. At the same time, I bring down my shoulders forward because I'm going to exaggerate pushing them up. So I go down and then the left shoulder goes up. Like you're trying to look over your shoulder, but the head doesn't turn up. At the same time, the hands go down as in front. And then when you turn, you bring your left hand to your hip and your other one, you punch your shoulder. Don't punch him too hard, you, hurt, you, you don't want to hurt yourself. Okay, so we go one, two. At the same time, we're going to lift up the hands, we're going to lift up the right leg by bending like that. And we're counting. Two. One more time. Now it's going to be this way. One, two, three, four. But I'm doing different directions so you guys get it better. I think that's going to help. It might take longer, but it will help you do it. Yes? Please leave comments. I can't read them all right now, so I can see what I can do better. Suggest to me anything, and I'll try it. Okay, so let's go from here. We have down, up, then down, the left comes up, and then the other hand comes to the other side, the right hand on the hip, and the left hand on the other shoulder, and move up. From the front view, we'll turn this way. Yeah? <laughs> it's not very difficult. And then we only actually do that twice. One, two, three, four. Then we straighten out the hands instead of punches. And when we lift up, there we have some likes. When we lift up, we bring the right hand straight next to the ear and the left hand back. At the same time, we do kick. So that's the same leg, same hand. Down again, up and kick. If you put the two together, you have it. One, two, three, four. All right? So we start from the basic, preparation, doubleation, down, down, stay down, stay down. Okay? Can you see how low I am? But I'm not bent over, stretched down like this. I keep this nice and straight. Let's go do it one time. One, two, three, five. Here we go. One, two, and three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the next part. I wanted to ask. Some of you that have mobiles, can you only see this frame or can you see the whole frame? That's a question I had in my mind, if somebody can answer me that. Because this has a progression, if you're on the mobile, maybe you can't see it. I'll try to break it down here straight and then you'll know what we're doing. We're going to step in. Towards the left and you're pointing to the right. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're progressing by moving the foot, heel, and toe, heel, and toe. That is that from here. You start with spin, then you can do one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the right foot is doing. I like to call a tango circle. You are going circle, circle, circle. You see? And at the same time, you're moving. You're also allowing your body to turn in. Not like a chandra, but more like a fusion of Rumba and Pachandra. Okay, I went too far away. All right. So we come to here. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so every time I count one, two, there's a circle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The second eight now, we're going to bend down that left knee, 
and keep that body straight and move shoulders in, 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 and in. So at the same time, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I told you the first part will be a very long one. <laughs> But if I do something, I want to do it correct. I don't want to have a five-minute video. I want you to get the full experience that we can actually do it and we can work. And if this takes longer, this problem that we have worldwide, then we can find a solution, not for only the dancers, but also the dance teachers. Let's do it from the beginning. And we're coming to the last part here of the third, sorry, of the first part, which is the biggest part of our choreography. The other two are smaller. They're a bit more difficult. <laughs> but let's go. Basic two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, three, five, six, and seven. Down, punch, down, punch, next to the ear, next to the ear. Straight and move down to the shoulder, to the shoulder. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. That's part of number two, the jump. So up to there, that was number one. Don't worry, this will be recorded and you can watch it again and again and again. I hope I'm not going too fast. It is for intermediate and advanced, but for any beginner and improver who wants to learn some of this, this will be recorded and stay on the computer, sorry, on the group. I hope so when I finish this, that it, I do the correct moves. I hope so. Now, how do we do the next part? After we slide, we're going to go in, out, in, out, just like we were doing on the other side. So we need to practice a few times to move. Now, the left foot is doing four different things. First, it goes tap in. Make sure you turn your knee in. Okay, tap then heel, then tap again, that's three. And the fourth, it comes behind here and you hit it with your hand when it comes here. So we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the choreography here we're doing, we're gonna do it two times. If we finish this, guys, we can try it to music and have some fun. Hopefully that will be coordinated. You wanna see a little bit funny? Just so I get the best sound, I put here a Bluetooth speaker, you see? Just like my doggy. And uh, it's closer to the computer and hopefully the sound is uh, loud enough for everyone. So, we're going, let's go this direction. Go, heel, go, heel, pa, pa, Now, trying to do it like this will really help you. Trying to click, 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 click. Twist, twist, twist. If you don't, it will be just a genetic step moving like this, which that's fine if that's easier for you. In order to finish this, it's two times. One, also, it's in the back. Also, turn out the right. So, yeah, you need to know exactly which step. So, goes in, you move down to the heel, to the right. And that's one. Three, four. You get the kind of toe comes down. The foot turns on. Touch. You get three down. Now let's see if you get to do this. Faster, faster, faster. Okay? And as you step, do a nice little circle. Circle. Just like a circle. Yeah? Circle. Let's do that last one because I know it's a little bit difficult if you don't practice it. We're coming from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You really have to stay up fast for this one. One. And you see, I'm going to stretch my shoulder in like this finger. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh -huh. How about we put the whole thing together one, two times? I mean, I told you, this will be a full lesson, not just a tutorial. Let's practice it together. Yes, my friend, thank you. 
It's nice to see you too. All right. Now, we'll do it a few times without music. I'll try to keep it in one on the spot instead of progressing if somebody has mobiles. All right, here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And one, two, three. Okay, dokie. Let's do it one last time, a little bit faster because the music. Well, I found some slow ones and then medium ones. We'll practice them as we go along. Sorry, here I only did four pounds, four pounds. You know what? Let's keep it only four by four so we move on a little bit faster. So we're going one, two, three, four circles, go down, down, then step two, I go to a five, 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 so we don't keep it too long. Okay, how about we try it with music? Now, I'm gonna come close, sorry guys, but I'm using this computer, so I need to find the folder with the songs. And here it is, this is a very nice one. Okay, can you hear it? I'm going to have a little bit louder ones next time. <laughs> okay, this is my doggy. Tito. Five, six, seven. Is it coordinated? Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Go. One, two, three. Yes, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay, very good. Now we tried that. I'm gonna put the next song, it's gonna be a little bit faster and louder because this one, for some reason, I can't put it up anymore in the volume. I hope you were listening to it, or if not, at least my count. Now let's move on to the second and then to the third part. The second part has a beautiful element of a jumping up step from where we finished up. And we did circles. We're gonna do jump to the side. We want to coordinate them together and go one. Okay? One. And now we Okay, go one, one, then you bring your foot in. So, then 
this out. <laughs> Pay some attention here. Great posting. The ladies can do it on the ball of the feet. On the ball of the feet because the heels, if you're wearing, it's not so easy. So ball of the foot, ball of the foot. The color is music. So we have one, straight up here, two, and three, two, and four, and then you are twisting across the foot. Let's practice this one. In, in, back, up. Let me come closer. Uh, this angle. In, out, back, pull. One, and two, and three. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. If we put them together, we have one, two, three, Five. Now we're going to do the same instead of the ball. We're going to go on this side. One, two, three. But instead of five, we're going to back. We're going to finish it off with a two, three, three. So let's see what happens here. Twist, 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 back, twist, twist, back, two, three, two. That's unexpected, yeah? That's why we like this footwork. We came here, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Now here we're gonna go quick, 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 quick. Forward, forward, back, back, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Again. Well, and then the twist in the left, twist in, get the twist out the left. That's a progression. Over. Over. And try to bring that. Oh. No. Okay, let's put them together from the top. Again, this is part two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. Six, seven. One, two. Are we turning on to the right and turning on to the three? And just bend the knee like a candlestick to do it like this. Press down the right foot. Stay on that. And turn. Okay. Pretty hard. Swivel, swivel, lift, step. Push out and you can go to here and come to the front and go to the base or to go to the side and go to the base. Hey, by the way, I was wrong. It's only two parts. We're finished. <laughs> no, you're not. We're going to do it with music, with slow music and fast music. Let's practice again the second part. Don't go away anywhere. Practice, practice. Hey, who says you can't do it? If you practice hard enough, you can do it. Now from the back, back and twist two times. The third you come in with a kick, you step on a bend in a power knee, open, close, Now do it with a Count and not description. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven. Okay, now we have both pieces together. Before we put them, Let's just put the second piece with music. I'm going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and start from here. You have to do it one last time with me a little bit faster if you're going to do it with the fast music. So we have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. 
about the speed itself. That's about the speed we have to learn. Don't worry about it, guys. This is not a full lesson that you can tell me to slow down. You're not here. I can't estimate how fast all of you are learning. Most probably there's different levels, but that's okay. Keep on dancing. Keep on trying. And when the video stays on, just replay the, the, the parts you like and put them in your dancing because we will defeat this virus and we will be dancing socially soon again. Let's go with some music. Okay, so faster. I think we can do it. What do you think? All right, here we go. Is that good? Can we hear it? All right. Second part, we're going to start. Four, five, six, seven. Okay? One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very fast. Let's do again the second part. Second part from here. One, two, three, five, two, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. Yeah. Okay. Pause with the music. Before you think you're finished with me, you are not, because we have to put the two choreographies together. I don't know why I said there were three. In my head, I was breaking it down more. Can you imagine? Most people like to say explain too much. Other people say you explain just enough. So I'm trying to keep somewhere in the middle. All right, let's go from the first part, putting them all together. I'll be turned continuously this direction, because I've already shown you the steps. So I'll be keeping this crazy. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Left, cross, double, slide, lower, one, two. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, that is our whole choreography. Before you go, one more time without music with me, and then one more time with music, a little bit faster, and then <laughs> I can go relax too. I hope you're having fun, guys, because I am. This is my first time doing this live. And if it's coordinated, the sound as well, if you can hear the music, I'll be super happy that I've helped somebody even take one step home. Well, you're already home. Okay, let's go from the beginning. Last time without music, a little bit faster. Can you see everything? Well, not everything. You know what I mean. All right. Five, six, seven, two, three, five, let go. That last one, it again depends from your shoulders. It's not in the choreography, but when you're doing a basic, you put it behind, you push forward your foot, and you prepare to your left. And you sit, turn to the right, only on seven. Five, six, seven. That is when I open my arms, that can really give me a good stop. Just the next step. Let's go to music. Okay, I'm warning you. I am going to put a little bit, just a little bit faster, not too much. Okay, so it's, it's faster. 
Obla. Guys, you know you can put up your own volumes as well to get it louder. What's up? Let's go. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, seven. Five, six, seven. One. A little bit fast. So it's intermediate footwork, but when you move faster, it becomes advanced. This is a slow salsa. Let's put some power to it now. Ready? I'm not gonna count. You follow me. this has been very satisfying i think i think i got a lot of things out of my system hey guys hey my fellow dance teachers give this a try it really gets the blood pumping and getting to contact with friends and teaching something so this was the video you can i'll try to save it i don't know how <laughs> It's the first time I'm doing it, so you can watch it again if you like, especially the beginning part of how to do double turns or doing triple turns, but triple, it's the same principle of closing and opening so you keep your balance. So I hope you guys like it. Comment, share it, let people know what's happening. Our dance schools are closed for two months. It's our full-time job, and we're trying to get in contact with people and find new ways because we have no idea, for we, with God's help, how long this situation would last and whatever happens we have to prepare ourselves and i'm not talking about just us oh poor old dance teachers it's everybody's problem all right so i hope we get answers soon and i hope you enjoyed this lesson please share it and give me feedback see you soon guys kisses kisses <laughs>